everybody. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And I want to share something with y'all about KI, you know, St. Lawrence, Ja'Kyra Bonds. Uh, I didn't interview people real close to her, the whole FBG movement and other people very close to her. Uh, even EBT Greg, who kind of knew her too. So I didn't spoke to a lot of people who know KI. And the reason I'm saying this is because people always ask me about her. Recently, you seen FBG Cash kind of get a little irritated about that question on Cam Capone. Uh, and then you kind of seen that recently with like Hood on Future TV speaking on KI. I actually just interviewed Hood and you know, he spoke on KI and he kind of stood strong on what he said, but he did say that he hated, you know, the fact that the, the families had to relive those moments and shit. I tell people this about the drill culture. Um, this shit is almost like the entertainment business. I know it's crazy about the deaths and the murder, but it's marketable. This is the only culture with doing something bad. You'll get rewarded for that shit. You know, it kind of give you credibility of uh, the realness of it. And I think that's what really happened with K.I. Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying K.I. ain't messing with the Blicks. That's not what I'm saying. I don't want people to get me confused with that. I think uh, she was a real street person who handled up business. What I'm saying is people put the serial killer on her. She got a hundred bodies and shit like that. I think that is a little crazy. I just think she was marketable. It was a time when, like, rap catch-up was out and shit like that. You know, they kind of picked the people who they wanted to promote. Not just Rap Catcher, but a lot of platforms. And I think with a girl driller, a girl on the block, hanging with, like, those niggas who keep talking about the Tukas, being out there with Lil' J, the Ducks, you know, knowing these people, uh, beefing on the internet, they start posting on the internet. I think she became marketable, you know, as a girl driller. I think everybody was doing some of the same shit she did, but I think the internet put a lot of stories on her because it's way more marketable. It's almost like, you know, Michael Jordan. Nobody in the world can be Michael Jordan. I mean, there's people that can hoop. They probably just didn't finish college. They probably, you know, did the wrong things in school and couldn't get to the NBA. You know, Mike made a lot of good decisions. Uh, not saying he can't bust your ass and, and, and won't hoop you, but I'm just saying, you know, and I think, you know, when the drill first came out, it was so crazy and rugged, and people seen the female, and, you know, the college kids, the rap catch-ups, once they posted her, her fame kind of risen. I think that made it dangerous for her, too, because she was on those blocks. I tell people that shit. This is no disrespect, but I tell people that when you get a name for being a serial killer, a driller or something, and you don't own no businesses, you don't own no houses, you know, you don't own none of these things, it kind of feel like maybe the old heads could be using you, you know? And I just think that's that's crazy. A lot of people that spoke on KI in these interviews. This is actually what we sit down right here. You know, I get you to sit down right here. Um, we speak on a lot of things from the culture. Um, Cameron, man, you get a chance. So I want them to see what I see. You know, when a lot of these guys get right here, they stand in front of this camera, you know, and um, we get to talking and just asking you questions. I tell people the topics are going to be touchy. You know, this the drill culture. We ain't talking about the magic school bus. This ain't a cartoon convention or none of that, man. This is the drill culture where people is talking about real serious things out here. We actually in Chicago now, Kevin, man. You can get a, a check out of that. Uh, the dope out here. Like I tell you, I be wanting y'all to see the dopeness out here. I don't always want to show you the badness because every documentary about Chicago is bad. See the big buildings and Things like that. A lot of stuff going on, man. But as you can see, this is where we do the interviews at. You got Baby Teller. He's doing stuff. Let me get my little interview time on. Uh, I don't want y'all to check it out, man. This is actually where we do the interviews at in here today. We picked this hotel, man. This was a, a dope hotel that we picked to do the interviews in this week. Mm. You know, we got to be safe, man. A lot of people don't know. We always like to do interviews around a wall that kind of looks the same color, kind of throws the people off. They never know what hotel we in. I didn't give you too much information on hotel shit as it is. Uh, but uh, I appreciate the love. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But like I say, you know, the internet has a way. Just think about this before we get up out of here. You got a guy like Lil Reese, the Grim Reaper. Not saying he ain't the Grim Reaper. Not saying he won't rack you up and shit. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, what if that was some rap shit? And a guy like Academics and 
put his name out in the streets as being the most aggressive and toughest street gang member of all time. You know, uh, 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 you'll get put in a bad position out here with that kind of reputation. I don't think people understand that, man. And another thing I want to speak on, too, because a lot of people have been telling me truth. I'm seeing things about you on the Internet, all kinds of things about you on the Internet from things that happened in your past a long time ago. I don't know. I ain't that person no more. I don't know what the fuck happened in the past. I ain't that person no more, man. I'm going to tell y'all this once again. You know, uh, in this culture, man, uh, you get a chance to grow in this culture, man. I wasn't truth teller uh, my whole life, you know. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Five, six, seven years ago, I was doing other shit, you know. Um, but we all get a chance to grow and um, get our life on the right track. And I want people to understand that, you know. Uh, whatever happened 10, 20 years ago, man, anybody got a beef with me 10, 20 years ago, man, I might have stole a piece of candy out the store and the candy store owner not know about it. Look, I apologize to you, man. And all that, you know, we moving forward, man, you know. So let me finish growing and let me finish getting this good energy. I'll let y'all later. This is how we truth tell the street, boy. Bit, 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 bit. I'm about to go. Come on, baby, tell them.